This has been such a bad day for uh, for Joe. I like me. <laughs> Well, hit him. Throw, throw your controller at the control at the TV. Maybe that'll work. That was epic. I just did a barrel roll side flip thing through the air off another car. Epic. People online are nerds there. <laughs> I played NBA 2K11 online and I thought I was so bad at the game, but I beat someone my very first game. I won. <laughs> I was so proud of myself. I even got a few dunks in there and everything. Maybe from owning your slaughterhouses. <laughs> I don't know. We take you out every time. We usually kill you. Um, orc archers. Nice. Who the hell is that? This mission still isn't over. Holy. Hey, Vito. Long time no see. Oh my god, this mission's yeah. still not over. Long time. What do you want, Evan? A drink. Let's take my car. It's because you suck. Traditional <laughs> Clementi's dead, along with everybody else. Listen, Vito, I know Aaron, me and you should bury someone, and we'll just send in only or laborers and, and see what happens. What's left of the family? And I should care about this. Why? Well, yeah. Look, about you going away. I'm sorry for what Clementi did to you, but he got what was coming to him, right? I don't give a rat's ass about that old bastard. Matter of fact, I work with Tom Cole just the same. You saying you want to join with us? Yeah. Since you work for him, I thought, uh, maybe. You think you could put in a good word for me? Yeah, sure. I'm joking about you, boy. Thanks, Fido. I owe you one. <laughs> so, uh, how's life? You mean before, <laughs> as I know, got killed? That business at the hotel. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Got no idea what you're talking about. That's funny. Because a buddy of Joe's got popped in the parking lot that day. So I just figured you'd do in on it. Buddy of Joe's. How do you, you even get you strategic know, skills? Used to come into Freddy's with Joe all the time. What's his name? Uh, Mikey, uh, Mickey, whatever the fuck his name was. You mean Marty? Yeah, yeah, that's the kid. Get a voice like fucking Minnie Mouse. Yeah, yeah, I heard about that. So you sure you weren't there that day? You're positive. Put it this way. Me and Joe were out taking care of something for our boss. 
all I'm gonna say. You know what? It don't matter anyway. But do me a favor, would you? Yeah, sure. Next time, get a better disguise than a phony fucking mustache. I saw you two pricks from a mile away. You know what? Can we please not talk about this right now? Or ever again? Don't worry about it. You do what you had to do. He just knew about our mustaches. Aaron, try it again. Try rushing again. Not really. This is what I am. What I'm good at. Yeah. I guess it pays a hell of a lot better than being a fucking taxi driver. I was thinking about skipping town after that business at the hotel. To be so funny. Hey, didn't see you. That's why I came to see you. So I was your last resort, huh? Thanks. Enough or nothing. How come you came to see me, not Joe? Look. Joe's solid, but I wouldn't exactly want to speak it on my behalf. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Can't argue with you there. Keep my word, don't I? Here you go. Don't spend it all in one place. Thanks. First him again. First him again. Uh, he was here before, but then he left. Looked pissed off. Though lately, he always looks pissed off. Yeah. Can you blame him? Listen, uh, I need to talk to you about something. Well, what is it important? Be the dwarves there and Gloin and Gimli Rush. On us and we don't know how or why. I, I, I gotta sort this shit out. Yeah, well, I think it's worth hearing me out. All right, go ahead, but make it quick. All right. A guy I know who worked for Clementi called me. He's worried. He's not sure. Be the dwarves and just build the wall in there. Oh, that's good. As far as I know, the boss ain't planning nothing at this point, unless they try something stupid. Okay. Well, this guy <laughs> asked me if he could come work for us. Yeah? Who is it? Was he a friend of yours? I did a few jobs with him for Clementi. Really knows his shit. <sighs> okay. Tell him to stop by. <sighs> well, uh. He's here right now. <laughs> he is? All right. Go get him, man. Eddie, this is Henry Tomasino. Henry, this is Eddie Scarpa. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Scarpa. Don't call me Mr. Scarpa. My friends call me Eddie. And take a seat, Henry. So, Vito tells me you want to join up with us. Yeah, I'm out of work right now. And I don't want to make a big deal out of what happened. Now, that's good thinking. Tell me something first, Henry. Were Clementi and Vinci planning anything against our organization? Okay. I usually keep my nose out of things like that. But I was with Luca Guerrino once at Leo Galanti's place, and Luca was going on and on about Falcone being involved with some dirty business and that something should be done about it. I think he was trying to turn Vinci against you. Dead bastard. I'll bet he was talking about drugs all the while he's dealing them himself. He knows that Vinci is totally against us. And it probably fooled the old man good. So that's why he's planning to move on us. Well, we gotta hit it first. Again? Hey, if we don't act, Frank will. First, we gotta get rid of Galante. Without him, Frank's fucked. Yo. We're gonna I pwn to these keep you out of it, But I didn't have anybody else who could pull off a job like this. Now I'm thinking this could be the perfect opportunity for Henry here to prove himself. What do you say, Henry? You up for it? If it means I'm in when the job's done, sure. Exactly. Take care of Leo. And what about you, Vito? I'd feel a lot better if you went with Henry to make sure everything yep. goes smooth. I, I don't mean you gotta whack the guy. Just drive there, wait until it's done, and drive back. But if it don't feel right, I can ask somebody else instead. What do you say? Sorry, Eddie, I can't do this. Leo was like a father to me back in the camp. Yeah, I understand. Well, it looks like...